going on everyone it's Baron here today we're going to be going over the multiple package clarification um, I know a lot of people think that I'm sort of out of my mind and I'm making wild accusations and I'm sort of making stuff up which I'm not it's legitimate information that has come from CIG themselves and if they've changed the information they would have updated us so unless they've updated it and they haven't told us it's still going to be applicable in the same way a lot of people saying that it isn't which it is i did go into the forums and ask about this one person's responding at the moment but yeah cig's latest word on the subject is that when things change they will tell us about the changes this means that ca cig has not reviewed the topic and decided that information is no longer correct so that's pretty much what he means about <clears throat> the changes i would say so we don't know if they've revisited it like he said revisited it um, but we do know that when you have your ship and you have game packages obviously those game packages will then have the individual ai players npcs you got to read over this it makes a lot more sense when you read it <coughs> but uh, players will always be able to hire npc players and each game package is a new character that you can create or you can actually make that into an npc for yourself so it goes into a lot of detail um we know that it has multiple characters because obviously one of your characters can die but then you can also um clone yourself now and then you can actually gain uh, gift people game characters and the digital game package so you can gift them the digital copy of star citizen which is really good so you can sort of split up your package uh, as you feel it may actually let you split up ships as well <coughs> because obviously having that in the ability to be able to get those game packages then what's the point if you know what i mean like of having those packages and then having the digital download in there because you should be able to just split that digital download so that you can have the option to do as you please with it because then you can allow someone else to jump into the game possibly without even having to buy um, a ship package but yeah it just it brings into a whole other idea of what that means i know it's kind of confusing but to read over this actual thread and topic makes a little bit more sense later on down the track when you're actually interested in this i know like i said um they haven't touched on this topic but it hasn't been updated since the posting of this thread so take it with a grain of salt I will post this link in the description so that you can read through it. So obviously we have the allotted credits. You have your game character. So it says whether or not you play as a law-abiding merchant or some fearsome pilot, whatever you want to do with your character, it's completely up to you. Um, obviously you've got your ship that you need. Uh, that's why you purchase that package. Um, but yeah, whether you buy a large game package or whatnot, it's always going to have an NPC with it. And from what I could tell that... You can actually use the character from one package as an allotted uh, NPC slot as well. But then you can also, um, the way you can use it and break it down is pretty detailed. So like I said, read through this thread. It does give you some information. I'm not making wild guesses or assumptions. I'm going off what the information we're being given. They've given it to us in black and white. So whether or not you want to take that information on board, it's completely up to you, but don't disregard it. Take it into your account. But you'll also be able to buy NPCs in game as well. And they will all have a skill level for you to um, have them build up as well from what I could tell. But getting the game characters and NPCs is going to be a big thing for people with big ships who don't have the crews for them because they're going to be able to get those NPCs to do what they want them to do and yeah it says here build a customized crew so if you don't have multiple packages um, there will be the full option of a standalone character slot purchase for the per pledge store without having to buy a full game package there will also be a they will also allow a small amount of backers who only have an add-on ship but not a game package to purchase a game character slot and a few credits will be able to head out into the galaxy so as you can see there's a lot of different um, aspects to play into that and it just sounds like you have to have that actual game package or more to actually be able to have an NPC slot so take that into consideration let me know what you think down in the comments um, I'm really interested to hear what you say got to say um, I want to thank our backers um, patrons Fateless and then the Prevectus um, YouTube channel members the real Donald Dump and I think it's Reynold 
um, Rosenthal. Yeah, but hope you guys enjoy this. Being Baron, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell to get those notifications. Peace.